So eventing is a three phase competition. Um, it's probably like a triathlon really for horses. So it consists of dressage, show jumping and cross country. Um, so the national events and the one day events go in that order and the international three day events go dressage, cross country and show jumping on the final day. Um, probably about five or six years old, um, on and off had lessons in a riding school and then didn't get my first pony till I was 11. So eventing just came through the pony club really. Um, we sort of did a little bit of everything and I used to do to triathlon which the riding part of that was the cross country phase which is what you can see behind you. Um, and then when I finished Pony Club, really the only way to carry on with the cross country was to go down the event and move for Bramham um, in West Yorkshire near Leeds. Um, that's, I kind of, growing up around here, that was the big aim and the one we wanted to do and we went every year as a kid and stuff. And it's just, yeah, even if you're not riding, it's a great one. Probably compete in Burley last year. Um, so that's the highest level of international competition you can do. Um, I did qualify for it six years previously and then that horse picked up an injury. Um, so yeah, it was a long six years to wait to go back to it, but yeah, completing with a clear round and crossing that finish line was pretty cool. I feel like that was it, really. Yeah. Uh, Burley was the ultimate goal or a five-star completion. Um, now it's probably just to you know keep doing that and try and just better it each time. Oh, probably Jules, Miss Brodie. Um, so that would be the first horse I went advanced on first intermediate, my first proper international competitions and my first brand run, which was a big, a big goal. Um, probably don't do enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, uh, so last year for Burley I did do quite a lot of personal trainer sessions because the majority of the horses I had to ride were younger, so I didn't feel like I was doing as much sort of upper level riding myself and only having that one horse. Um, this year, because we've got so many to ride, it's just just a day to day riding, really. Um, yeah, so just sort of from the base, probably 12 weeks, probably to go through like a proper fitness program. Um, once they're sort of at event competition fitness, then really, if they're doing a three day every year, then you kind of don't really need to top that up. That base level of fitness stays there, and it's just the runs and the competitions that help keep it going. Um, so, post every cross country round the legs are iced um, so the, the horses have their legs iced I probably don't do enough for myself I like to try and go on holiday in November when the season's over um, and the horses after um, a big run they go off to the spa for a week <laughs> for the tendons and ligaments with the heat the, there's more movement in them so then there's more risk of injury so we ice them to tighten them back up and cool everything down as fast as we can um, so the ice coat spots me with a training bursary which I use um, for training on various horses. Um, and then, yeah, we use our ice to cool our legs. <laughs> and for our drinks. I haven't, no. Yeah, probably would. I'd be a bit nervous jumping in, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, really. I would hope I'd kind of fulfilled all my riding goals by then. Um, I do a lot of coaching now, so I'm a youth coach for British Venting for the um, under 21. Um, and I'm currently doing my level four coaching, which is like a master's in sports coaching. So I'd like to think that maybe with my ridden experience and then just keep going with the coaching, that I'd probably end up in a coaching role. Um, just don't be afraid of hard work. <laughs> it's a lot of hard graft and there's more bad days than good. So you've got to kind of learn to take that. Um, and yeah, if you're passionate about it, just keep bashing on. Don't really have any. <laughs> <laughs> Probably too much equine stuff. Um, like I say, I like to go on a holiday at the end of the season, um, and in the winter when we're not busy, like out of season, I do try and have like a Sunday off, go for Sunday lunch, take the dog for a walk, and just, yeah. just do normal things. <laughs> <laughs>